Moving on to hitting, we're going to talk about a few common mistakes and how to go about fixing those mistakes. First thing is we want to talk about the feet. The swing starts from the bottom and works its way up. The bottom being our feet, the last thing to happen in our swing are our hands moving through and actually swinging the bat. So when I'm talking about the feet, after we get in our stance, a common mistake is a lot of young players will keep that foot up in the air too long as that ball is moving towards them and they'll take too big of a stride. Now when you keep it too long, that ball is moving quickly towards you. Now you're not giving yourself time to track the baseball and work on your timing. And if you want to sum up hitting in one word, it's timing. So we have to get that front foot down early so we can track the ball, see it, and then we can go ahead and explode with our hips. At this point, once we land with our front foot, we want to land with our front foot closed. Too many of us land with the front foot open and we'll have a tendency to open the front hip, therefore open up the front shoulder. So we're losing power. That pitch that is riding into our hip, we'll be able to hit that ball hard, foul, but the pitch down the middle and out, we're going to have trouble hitting that pitch. So make sure we keep that front foot closed, which will help us keep our front hip and our front shoulder closed. At this point, we want our hands to be about the same height as our shoulders with the knob of the bat towards the catcher's feet. Now, as a youth player, when I was a youth player, our coaches would always say, get that elbow up. We never want the elbow higher than the hands. They could be in line with the hands, they could be slightly below the hands, but never higher than the hands. That will limit our range of motion. Now we end up pushing our hands forward as we swing versus throwing our hands, and we won't be able to get carry on the baseball. So we want a good bat angle from here. The swing will go with the back knee and the back hip moving towards the pitcher. The front shoulder closed. From here, as the hands cross the middle of your body, that's when the front shoulder will start opening up. At contact, we want our back shoelaces and our belly button close to facing the pitcher. We want to maintain that as we finish our swing.